Well, we expect that uh, the second half of 2009 uh, will uh, bring us a moderation of the decline or bottoming up out of, of, the, of the economy uh, with a modest recovery in the first half of 2010. The problem is how uh, robust uh, or how, how um, uh, fast the recovery will be. And here, much depends on, uh, uh, on the health of, uh, of the financial sector. And the uh, downside risk that we see clearly is additional, a new, a renewed stress in the banking sector of, of, of the European economy. Immediate uh, problem is the health of the financial sector. And the feedback loops, adverse feedback loops, between the banking is, sector and the real sector. Number two is the lack of confidence, which can weigh on uh, demand, slowdown in demand. And number three, it's the structural rigidities. Uh, it's a little bit uh, for the future, but when the economy picks up, European economy can uh, do it quite slowly. Accommodative monetary policy is needed. Fiscal stimulus is also needed, but uh, should be uh, based on a broader, uh, longer-term, sustainable uh, fiscal policy framework. Uh, but all will not be all this will not be enough uh, if not backed by proactive policy towards uh, the banking sector. Here. The authorities have to be proactive, have to uh, clarify the situation of individual banking institutions, uh, back it up with uh, um, recapitalization if needed, or, or restructuring or resolution. A little bit into the future. Uh, which is very important for the for the uh, for the European economy is to preserve the uh, financial integration. For this to survive the crisis, a solid financial stability framework has to be built up, and uh, this is now being not only debated but uh, implementation has started. We strongly support it and recommend uh, to put it in place on an ambitious timeline.